The physics and astronomy department at Rice reflects the strengths of Houston as the energy capital of the world, as the home of the biggest medical center in the world, of NASA. I think compared to other peer university, you know, we we, I think we try to make the best uh, uh, use of this diversity in order also to have cross-disciplinary and interdisciplinary activity among groups. In a department of this size and in a university like RISE, you will see a lot of interdisciplinary collaborations. In some sense, RISE is an, a good example, an epitome of, of how interdisciplinary science can happen. Because it's not a huge university, we're only 700 faculty. And within engineering and the natural sciences, there's a lot of overlaps. Many faculty, for example, will have joint positions across colleges. RISE is fostering this interdisciplinary connections between physics and biology. So we have really excellent faculty doing a variety of different research topics in this field. My particular area is in experimental particle physics, uh, where we've taken the techniques of accelerating particles to high energies, uh, protons in the case of my research, and colliding them together, uh, the proverbial atom smasher, to try to figure out what's inside those particles. Recent uh, discoveries in our experimental condensed matter physics at RISE have revolved around topological materials. And think of topological materials as systems where their properties and the electronic transport in particular is not affected by shape. That's a concept borrowed from mathematics recently, but it has evolved into a practical materials property. We have a very strong group here uh, looking at how electrons interact with each other in a material. And these materials are called correlated electron systems because the electrons actually behave very much like human beings. Sometimes they like each other, sometimes they hate each other. Today, we're moving forward and we're basically trying to harness uh, the second quantum revolution, where basically we don't control and study only ensemble of atoms, but we um, resolve individual atoms and control them individually with tailored laser fields. My research arise focuses on the, the, the study of the formation of planets and stars. I try to understand how solar system like our and other solar system form. One of the main questions since really the beginning of modern astronomy is how, how did Earth form? How do planets form? And using a telescope in, in South America, we can really zoom in and take high resolution images and see the processes and see at the time where the planets come together. Our faculty in our department have been leaders in understanding and quantifying how protein structure leads to its folding and hence its function, which has been vital in predicting therapies or the function of proteins, which are so essential in our body. And this has been applied in many different ways now, whether it's understanding the physics of cancer and mutations, whether it's understanding genetic regulation in terms of how different genes act together, and also in my work in understanding how the different components of reactions can lead to very long-lived behavior and stable behavior in complex systems. RICE has had multiple ways in which it tries to support students and, and uh, faculty. There is a program that uh, allows a grad student to apply for a small grant to mentor an undergraduate student. Both the grad student can, can learn how to mentor somebody that needs to learn and the, the undergraduate can do a, a small research project. Another direction that I think is very interesting at the moment is making tech transfer easier. So to uh, make the process of patenting and starting a company and bringing new technology to the marketplace way easier than it was before. We do have many programs aimed at promoting diversity in the wider community, in the departments and also around. The RICE Emerging Scholar Program identifies a first-generation college students and, uh, and tries to uh, pair them with a mentor and bring them up to speed to the research. And I am in, in this program and I, I, I plan to, to take on uh, you know, students from this court uh, to, to basically encourage them to do research very early on. In physics right now, there is uh, really a problem in terms of gender imbalance and the RICE Physics and the Astronomy Department is trying to address this. There is, for example, a Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee 
that was formed last year and is uh, trying to coordinate all of these uh, initiatives. I want to highlight a Frontiers in Science program in which every summer our faculty encourage students from community colleges or from minority backgrounds to apply. These are students who may not have the opportunities to get involved in research or to have ever seen research before. Here, we provide them with financial support um, solidly throughout the summer as well as weekly discussions and a very clear research project and mentoring plan so that they can just jump right in um, despite their background so long as they are committed and interested and experience a very rich scientific environment firsthand and this is one way in which we're starting to allow these research opportunities to um, students from underprivileged backgrounds who may not otherwise have this sort of exposure. So our graduates from Rice University are generally very well trained. Many of them go into academia and you can see many professors around the country, around the world who have received their PhDs at Rice. In addition, if they decide that they want to do something else, many of them go on to careers in industry, especially in science and technology. So we have students who now have great careers in data science and engineering or in analysis in which they're using their um, scientific skills here to really make an impact in current challenges that our society faces.